one has gotten personal. The grand final full of fury. Tonight, all the latest news and a special tribute to Steve Menzies. We wish you luck, darling. We've been very proud of you. I've got all the keys. No, I can't. Hello, I'm Rob Canning. Welcome to Toyota Sports Tonight. Massive show ahead is what you're in for. Manly and Melbourne have adopted different approaches to grand final preparations. The Storm were enjoying Sydney's summer feel and hit the beach today. The Seagulls were on the training paddock. And in between all of this, Storm coach Craig Bellamy turned 50. It's one of those things that could so easily have flown under the radar in grand final week, but Sports Tonight wasn't about to let Bellamy off the hook. Yeah, I suppose they had to come at some stage. I'm not uh, overly impressed with Richard 50, I must say, but anyway, it's, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And, um, yeah, it's business as usual, mate. Melbourne know the chances of another grand final blowout are slim, but despite the suspension of Captain Cameron Smith, the Storms say everything's going to plan. The preparation's been really good. Uh, they're very relaxed at the moment, so uh, once we sort of move from Coogee to Parramatta, then uh, we sort of make a real lockdown and we're in our major preparation, but everything so far has been going well. Shaved down and fired up, Michael Crocker is preparing for his fifth grand final in six years. And it might be the big back rower the Sea Eagles had in mind when they were practising under the high ball this afternoon. It was just after half time in last year's decider when Crocker KO'd manly fullback Brett Stewart as he attempted to defuse a bomb. Crocker will be going in what's called uh, Give Stewart and Disneyland Part 2, probably. <laughs> Regardless, ANZ isn't a happy hunting ground for Manly. They've lost three of their past four matches at the venue, leaking 40 points to the lowly South Sydney in round 23. Nathan Merritt goes through and scores another one. Melbourne have already beaten Manly twice this year. They ran out 26 four winners in round five before the rematch in round 22 ended with an all-in brawl featuring, you guessed it, Michael Crocker. Michael Crocker, remember the grand final last year, a big shot on Stewart. One small difference, the Storm had their captain available for both matches. Well, Manly fans will, of course, be hoping club great Steve Menzies gets the perfect present in his last NRL game. And today his family told us about the boy who became the Beaver. Another newspaper, <laughs> another tribute. There he is again, what a handsome fellow. <laughs> For the mother of Steve Menzies, it's been a humbling time. It makes me feel very, very proud that people think so highly of him. But Carolyn Gerard wouldn't be a mum if she didn't throw open the photo album for a look at the junior beaver. She watched her boy with the angelic smile play every weekend. He did tell me when he was little that one day they would be collecting football cards with him on them and we all thought that was a big joke. 348 first grade games later and trophies, jerseys and all sorts of mementos flood the family home. Videos? Well, there's plenty of them too, like the one that shows him on the rampage for Harbord United in 1990. It was the same year he was introduced to a national audience playing for Freshwater High as their rangy number 13. Great runner for Menzies who will score next to the post. Well, Menzies has looked like a danger each time he handled the ball. But his deeds weren't limited to the football field. Menzies has always been cool under pressure. Now he's hoping Manly can bounce back too from last year's grand final drubbing by the storm. It was here nearly 30 years ago that the legend of Steve Menzies began. But don't be fooled into thinking all the skills he's shown since that day are purely down to him. His grandmother's entitled to at least some credit. Absolutely, for his sidestep. It was me trying to catch him when his mother was at college and I asked him when he was about three or four. I couldn't catch him, the wretched little boy, running around everywhere and I just couldn't get him. <laughs> but the realisation this is his final game for the Eagles, too much for Mum. Yes, Stephen, we wish you luck, darling. We've been very proud of you over all the years. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't get through the sentence. <laughs> OK, let's check in with TAB Sportsbet's Glenn Munsey with the latest odds on Sunday's grand final. 
Well, thanks, Rob. Yeah, the whole town gripped by beaver fever getting ready for the grand final on Sunday night. So let's have a look at the grand final. Money continues to roll in for the Melbourne Storm. They have tightened up a fraction since last night, looking at that line there of two and a half to Melbourne. The margins are the same, just slight favourites there, Manly, one to 12. The half full double options. Now, remember, the draw does come into play there at half time and also at 80 minutes. The first scoring play, how do you think the game will be started? Will it be a try? Will it be a penalty goal or even a field goal? You do have those betting options there. And the try bet, you can bet under or over that six and a half point margin. In the first try scorer market, no great change from last night. Still, Israel Folau and Brett Stewart, the favourites there. He has been popular today, Brett Stewart, but so has Anthony Quinn and Steve Turner of the Melbourne Storm. The Clive Churchill medal, we have an outright favourite now. Manly halfback and captain Matt Orford into favouritism over Cooper Cronk. But Jamie Lyon and Anthony Watmo both have had good support this afternoon. Now let's have a look at how they will go on the Sunday. Will Brett Stewart score a, a try? I should say a try, of course. You can go yes or no there. Billy Slater, also the Beaver. We've had a story about Beaver. Will he score a try on his final NRL match or will he not? We've got Greg Inglis and also Israel Folau. Check out all the betting options on Sunday's grand final at tabsportsbet.com.au or get down to your local TAB and may the best team win as long as it's a winner for us.